Wednesday is only a week away. The longer you wait, the more you can expect to pay for flowers. So on your side, consumer reporter Jen Strathman is going to show you how to save money on a rather expensive holiday. Well, the Internet is a great place to save on all kinds of items, from electronics to restaurants. But are you really saving when you buy flowers online? Love is in the air, but will your loved one be in love with the arrangement you order? And will you be in love with the price? The whole thing becomes blurred and muddy, and uh, the, the consumer is really at risk out there with that, unless they know who they're doing business with. Orban's Gift of Fruit and Flowers has been in business 90 years and prides itself on its experienced designers. One of our designers has been with us for 30 years. Over the years, it's been tougher for florists to stand out, as the field fills with online florists who make themselves appear local. Cleveland's one-stop flower shop is the top listing for Cleveland, but it's located thousands of miles away in Vancouver, Washington. You have to be very, very cautious. The online industry is filled with middlemen. Some charge you more than others for the convenience of ordering online. To find out who delivers the most bang for your buck, we put three companies to the test. We placed two orders online for the same $39.99 fun and flirty arrangement. We ordered it through 1-800-Flowers and Akron-based Blooms by Home. Finally, we placed a $40 order the old-fashioned way. Um, something around $40. With local florist Al Willamy, we had one price point for all three florists, but we ended up with three different totals. The order from 1-800-Flowers was the most expensive because the company adds a $12.99 or $14.99 service charge to its orders. Delivery is included in the $39.99 price, but that's not always a bargain. It's going to come to me as a $32 order or a $33 order with a $7 delivery charge. Total $40. We showed Orbins the flowers we ordered to see who gave us the best value. This one would stand out. That's the order we placed with Al Willamy over the phone. You're allowing the floors to be creative. I think you're going to get a, bit of, get a better value than holding them to a recipe. Floral recipes are supposed to ensure consumers get what they see pictured online, but the recipes don't always generate the same results. These two arrangements are supposed to be the same. The 1-800-Flowers arrangement is full all the way around, and the Blooms by Home design is one-dimensional. Plus, the 1-800-Flowers arrangement didn't come with the Gerber daisies pictured online. Instead, we got an extra rose in carnation. I don't think he got ripped off. Maybe not a rip-off, but the online orders were not the winners in our test. We've actually sat down, and we, we've tried to figure out, like, you know, how we would be able to do it without a wire service. And unfortunately, you can't. The doors at Blooms by Home are still open a few months into their new venture. But it's not because business is coming through the front door. Orders like ours are coming in online. There's, you know, three major wire services. Generally, when you go to a florist, they have at least one. It means consumers never truly know who will fill their order online. Blooms by Home sent our order to a florist closer to Cleveland. To get the best value, ask questions and know whom you're truly showing love. All right, let's talk about that long-distance relationship. You're sending it to someone out of town. How do you avoid those fees? Well, even an out-of-town funeral or something mm -hmm. like that, it happens so often. You can avoid those fees. Call your local florist. Ask for a recommendation. They have all these networks, and they refer people all the time. So they're going to help you out. Then call that florist directly, and you'll avoid the fees. I break it all down on Newsnet 5. All right, well, you're going to break it down again tomorrow morning on Good Morning Cleveland, right? Absolutely. Tune in at 645. I'm going to show you how to avoid sticker price shock on those roses and you know those can be expensive. <laughs> That's what my husband tells me, you know, <laughs> when we were dating. I haven't seen any lately. All right. Maybe this year. <laughs> Maybe this year. All right, thank you, Jen. Let's talk about flowers because the life expectancy of flowers, you know, it really isn't that long. As a matter of fact, the flowers begin dying the moment the stem is cut. Log on to our website, newsnet5.com, and check out our interactive flower guide. You'll find tips on how to keep your beautiful blossoms a lot longer.